Norma and I spent a week aboard the Pacific Explorer going to Isla del Coco with the Organization for Tropical Studies of the University of Costa Rica. We left from Playa Herradura on the central Pacific coast and headed out to open water. Isla del Coco is located 350 miles southwest of Playa Herradura in the warm waters of the tropical Pacific. Our day at sea was filled with a series of lectures about the ecology of Isla del Coco. A syllabus was provided. All lectures and announcements were in Spanish. A group of bird watchers from the United States took over the bow of the ship looking for seabirds. We fitted ourselves with snorkeling gear. Three naturalist guides and two professors provided the educational team for this course. There was a definite feeling of excitement and anticipation when at dawn we got our first look at Isla del Coco. There are only two bays that are protected and can provide anchorage for boats. Cliffs surround the island and protect the interior rainforest. 20 feet of rain falls on this island every year. We anchored in Wafer Bay and went ashore to the ranger station and for a very vigorous hike across the mountain to the next bay called Chatham Bay. The Pacific Explorer moved and met us in Chatham Bay. The trail was steep and very slippery. There were ropes to hold on to to help us pull up. The rainforest was characterized by trees laden with bromeliads and tree ferns. The views were an extra reward. The trail down to Chatham Bay was much easier. Rumors of buried treasure have resulted in a lot of expeditions and treasure hunters coming here. This is the library aboard the ship. We spent a lot of time reading. Humberto Vargas was aboard to give two concerts. He also thoroughly enjoyed the trip. We circled the island. One of the professors gave us a running narrative. Come along with us and ooh and ah, just as we did.
our hike to Cascada Henio was beautiful. It got us into the inner part of the island, a real, real rainforest. If I had to pick one high point of this trip, it would be the opportunity we had to go down in a submersible. Two people could go at a time, and we went with our pilot, Samuel. I never thought that I would be 260 feet below the surface. It was absolutely incredible. One of the high points of my life, actually. I could not have imagined the feeling of being absolutely surrounded by so incredibly many fish. When we ascended, it was hard to believe that we had actually been below for a whole hour. There were several family groups and people of all ages as we studied together about Isla del Coco. One of the activities that we personally enjoyed was kayaking, trying to get a little exercise there. Snorkeling was a high point for many. Some people went over and over again. The food was delicious on board. All of it served buffet style, sometimes in the dining room and sometimes up above on the deck. We had a historical tour of the rocks at Chatham Bay where many sailors have left their mark. Many pirates and traders have been visiting Isla del Coco since the 1700s. One reason this area was so important for the ships was that they could easily replenish their water supplies. This was very exciting for the Calvo family. They found their name carved in a rock. Their father, grandfather, and great-grandfather have visited the island. Jacques Cousteau's expedition has been there as well. With all the stories of pirates coming here, burying treasure, people coming to search for treasure, the truth is that the treasure is Isla del Coco itself. Ken, I can't imagine a more special trip as a celebration for our 50th wedding anniversary. <laughs>